Hi there, this is Melody Yan from Thunder, and today I'll be discussing what is a creative management platform. Creative management platforms, or for short, CMPs, are a class of programmatic creative ad technologies that meet the design needs of modern digital advertisers looking to tailor, test, and optimize the creatives in their campaigns. The core use of a CMP is ad design and production at scale. To tailor an ad's messaging to its audience for each segment, a different creative must be produced or generated. CMPs use a combination of manual and automated features to amplify the creative output of a team dramatically. Advertisers can use the high volume of creative production enabled by creative management platforms to make their ads perform better through three key benefits. First, they can achieve message relevance by tailoring creatives to audiences. Second, they keep creatives fresh by being able to refresh messaging frequently. And third, they can have creatives to split test, learn, and optimize from. Once you remove the high costs and lengthy turnaround time of building ads, these optimization methods become accessible to advertising teams, unleashing numerous new tactics and strategies for using creative to drive performance. A common question we hear is, if you use a DMP or DSP, should you invest in a CMP? Today, a sophisticated advertiser's ad tech stack will typically include a data management platform, or a DMP, and a demand side platform, or a DSP. These technologies optimize how media is purchased and make sure that ads are getting in front of the right people. So it's important to note that though creative is well understood to be one of the most significant drivers of performance for ad campaigns, an internal study by AppNexus found that over 90% of campaigns use a generalized or generic creative, one that isn't matched to its audience. That means that the $6 billion being spent on data and optimization tech like DMPs and DSPs isn't being fully activated by the creative. CMPs close this gap by enabling advertisers to replace the generic ads with tailored ads that match audience segments in the DMP and where each creative is optimized by the DSP. Despite all the acronyms, this trio of technologies, the DMP, DSP, and CMP, generate a phenomenal amount of synergy and each platform helps maximize the ROI of the others. CMPs are often compared to Dynamic Creative Optimization Technologies, or DCOs. Both CMPs and DCO technologies create a large number of creatives, are purpose-built for the needs of a programmatic advertiser, and fall under the programmatic creative umbrella. Here are some key differences between CMPs and DCOs. CMPs offer producers machine-assisted creative production. Though they give producers as much production efficiency as possible, ultimately each ad is in the hands of the creative professional. Production begins with one ad that will be the conceptual basis for all the other ad variations. With machine assistance, that ad is quickly resized and variations of each ad across multiple sizes are created. With DCO, Ad construction is fully automated through a programming exercise where you define logic in an effort to fully automate what will be shown in a template on any given impression. CMPs allow producers to customize each ad unit completely. The user can take control of every pixel and create all ad variations across all sizes in advance. Each individual unit can also be previewed and tweaked. With DCO, the construction of a DCO ad begins with a template. Then decisioning and versioning logic is programmed in. Data feeds must be coded into the ad. Customizations to individual ad units are not possible because everything must be controlled by the underlying logic. CMPs allow creatives to be pre-built at scale. The advertiser knows exactly what the creative will look like when it's served. Pre-built creatives load faster because they don't need to make an extra server call to fetch creative data before rendering. DCO ads, on the other hand, assemble each ad variation in real time. That can be advantageous if you need thousands of creatives. This also means easier trafficking. One ad tag produces all ad versions programmatically. But also keep in mind, this slows load speed because the ad has to make an extra server call to know what ad to build on the fly. With CMPs, its separate pre-built ads leverage decisioning and other technologies like DSPs, 
DMPs, and ad servers for their optimization. Individual variations are tailored to specific audiences and set up into groups for testing. A CMP makes a better use of your ad tech stack investment and keeps your media and creative optimization in the same place. Dynamic creative ad units, on the other hand, are self-optimized. They require logic to be built into the unit, giving the creative itself control over what to show in each impression. Beyond programmatic, CMPs work well with non-programmatic media for generating creatives to split test and for tailoring the ad content to the specific publisher or segments being targeted. The method of purchasing the media is not important, as long as there are meaningful audiences to tailor, refresh, and test creatives with, a CMP can be leveraged. Thanks for joining me today. If you have any questions or would like to learn more about Thunder, please visit makethunder.com.